Activist Maria Chin Abdullah, who has led Bursi rallies calling for clean and fair elections, is offering herself to the opposition in the coming general election. The 62-year-old, however, told reporters on Tuesday that she will only contest if Pakatan Harapan hands her a parliamentary seat. She said she does not have a seat in mind yet and she would leave it to Pakatan Harapan to decide. Well, I think I would prefer the parliament because if you are talking about electoral reform, changing laws and all that, it's federal. Yeah. So, uh, and federal is the one that makes the difference. So, um, yes, nothing less than the parliament. She reasoned why she entered politics. I just want to jump in and say that, you know, um, let me take this agenda to the parliament and see what I can do in this new um, approach. So, uh, Pakatan Harapan, well, you can't be asking me to join uh, Barisan National because they are the violators, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there are other parties, of course, but I think that, you know, Pakatan Harapan, looking at their manifesto, I do agree with their manifesto. So that would be the platform that I will use. She said if offered the chance, she will stand as an independent candidate under Pakatan Harapan ticket. The independence is not so much uh, in terms of the logo itself, but the independence is actually keeping on to my agenda, which is the reform agenda. I think that matters most to me. And uh, I should be able to also have the space that uh, to also put up my <coughs> own uh, positions uh, if there are certain uh, controversial issues. And also, uh, just one more point, I really do not want to get too much involved in the party politics. Yet. So as an independent, I hope that uh, I don't have to do that uh, and just stay focused on the agenda. Maria became the second person from the civil society group and NGO this month to join politics after one Saiful Wan Jan and there have been rumours that former Bursi chief Dato Ambiga Srinivasan is doing the same. At the press conference, however, Ambiga said she has no intention at all. I am not as courageous as my <laughs> Deputy Chief Shahrul Aman Muhammad Sha'ari will now take over the Bursi 2.0 movement. We, have, uh, we will continue our work uh, with free and fair elections. We will continue to be the lifeline of the rakyat. Yeah, uh, the proof has always been shown in our rallies. The 500,000, the 200,000, the 100,000 of people, the voices of the rakyat that come, they come for Bursi not for individuals. Maria attended her resignation as Bursi chief last Sunday and her last day was Monday.